I still remember crying my eyes out at O.R. Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg, not knowing what awaited me in London, the city so very far away from all I knew and loved, and the country I called home, South Africa. That was 13 years ago. It was not an easy journey, but with the help of friends, long contemplations and many changes, I can finally call England home. But it made me wonder if there were other South Africans, now perhaps British citizens, who felt the same as I did. Or was it smooth sailing from day one for them? What would they tell young South Africans hoping to travel to the UK or elsewhere in the world? I asked a few friends to help me, and armed with a basic camera and mic, we set out on our little adventure to find like-minded individuals across the UK to tell us their story. Our first volunteer is the very lovely Stuart Shell from Greenwich in London. And so it begins. <laughs> um, Stuart, you chose a fantastic day to meet me. Well, this is English weather to a T. This is why we're here, isn't it? Well, really? Is that why you came yes. over? Just for the weather? Just for the rain. I love it. <laughs> so, um, did you travel far to get here today? Because I saw your bike, so you came on the bike. No, it's not too far. Probably about six, seven miles away, so it's not okay. too... So tell me a bit about yourself. So, did you grow up in South Africa? Yeah, I grew up in uh, Johannesburg, Randburg. Oh, wow, okay, and, yes, I remember uh, Randburg. I mean, that, that's, you know, one of the things that gets me about the UK is being out in South Africa and, and, and growing up there, the outdoor kind of lifestyle that we had, you can't really have it here yeah. because it's, it's always raining. But yeah, I grew up there, came over here when I was about 20 okay. and uh, been here ever since actually. Wow. And so it's so what made back. you come over initially? Well, partly because of the troubles that started happening in South Africa. Okay. You know, with the, Are you talking about crime? Yeah, the, okay. the, the crime started getting a bit out of hand. My father's from London, oh. my mother's South African. Lovely. And uh, he said we should come back here, and we did. Do you regret coming sometimes over? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I look at the UK and I think, it's great. That's generally in the middle of the summer. <laughs> but it's don't about, worry. you know, that, that, that time. But I think England on the whole is a lot safer sure. to live than it is in, in parts of South Africa. Well, what do you mean by that? I just think uh, uh, out in South Africa at the moment, the security aspects of everything with gun crime and, you know, the way it is, it's, well, it's, it's difficult to live there now, okay. I think. I'd love to go back, don't get me wrong, but sure. I think it, it, it's difficult to live there. Yeah. Um, whereas in England, they don't have guns. I always thought they were mad. <laughs> not having guns as policemen really? but it actually i think it works because there's less gun crime in the uk okay mm. and so what do you do for a living here i work as a it manager up in london okay. and uh, that's yeah that just came about as well money needs all those <laughs> kinds of things i started off in it and then i became a manager it's, right. it's worked for me ever since do you think your life would have taken the same direction that's a good question. I'm not actually sure. I don't know which direct. I think in South Africa you've got more opportunity to start your own business, okay. whereas the UK is kind of exhausted with things to do. So you generally work for other businesses. Okay. And, and what were your expectations? I mean, did you visit London or England before you, you moved? Or no, I was thrown <laughs> straight into the deep end and uh, moved to Maidstone initially. Okay. And, uh, Not a bad area. Quite no, nice it's a area. great area. And lived with my grandparents for about six months, oh, which sweet. was, that was, yeah. Well, it was sweet, so to speak, but <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was hard. Oh, <laughs> Until we got our own house and then we moved to, uh, we still moved within Maidstone, but we moved sure. as a family. Okay, yeah. and what were your initial expectations? What did you think London was all about? Uh, rock and roll. I thought I was going to be going out to, uh, you know, concerts <laughs> and U2, seeing U2 and Depeche oh, really? Mode and I thought that's what England was all about but then I realised, uh, no, <laughs> you have to work. Oh, <laughs> that's a valid yeah. point. I think people don't realise how hard people have to work in London just to kind of have the lifestyle that you want and oh, not yes. even 
you know, just an average lifestyle, no yeah. luxury. Yeah. So would you ever move back or do you think you'd just go for holidays? I would love to move back. Really? One day, but it's, it's all down to, you know, finances. You know, I think and, and politics for safety does that play a part in you moving back? It does, but I've moved back to Cape Town. I would have thought, oh, which, I, which would yeah. probably be a lot safer than where I grew up, which is sure. Randburg, Johannesburg. That, that I think that area is quite, still quite dangerous. Where is your favourite place, either in the UK? Where, where would you say your favourite place is in, in England? London, without a doubt. London. Why? I really you like. I like the uh, hustle and bustle of London. I also like the fact, you know, the Royals, Buckingham Palace. All that kind of stuff. It's things that you look upon from South Africa. You think, oh, you know, I'd like to go and see that and yes. be like in amongst that. And there's always something to see and something to do. Like what? I think. What would you say? If somebody asked you from SA, young lad wants to come over and you have to sell London to him, what would you say? There's, there's money to be made in London. Okay. A lot of it. You depending know, on you what just, you want to do, I Yeah, assume. depending on what you want to do. But there's, there's, I think, you know, there's still a lot of opportunity in London as well. Have you travelled a lot since you've arrived? Or? Uh, Europe. Yes. I've been over to Europe a couple of times. That's also good access from England. You can go out to, like, Greece, Spain, yes. New York, all those different places, which, which I enjoy. And do you think, or how do you think England's changed you as a person, or has it changed you? I think it has changed me. I think it's made me a bit of a harder person, a lot more highly strung in some ways. And also you, you kind of, uh, in England, the, the, or the way you live in South Africa, you have home help and you know, all those kinds sure. of things. In England, you do everything yourself. Yeah. So, definitely. you know, that's, that's quite a culture shock, so to speak, coming here and actually having to do the ironing or whatever. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever do it. But uh, that's part of my world now. So what, what would you tell young South Africans wanting to come over to London? What should they prepare for? Be prepared to work. Don't come over here and scrounge off of any social security system that's available. Don't do that. Come over, work, uh, work hard and you'll get paid well and you can play hard yeah. after that. It's, uh, it's, it's a good country. England is a good country to come over to. Why, in what respects do you mean it's a good country? What makes it better or worse than South Africa? I think uh, the infrastructure that's in place in the UK is far more advanced and able to deal with society than South Africa. Now, uh, South Africa has uh, a lot of great things going for it, but it could be a lot better if the administration was managing of the, course. you know, well, the coffers better. <laughs> you know, th this is sure. you know obviously England's already done that and it's been established for a long time. Whereas South Africa, I think, has got a long way to go before they get to Finding all the services. Things. I mean, just a, you know something small like having the uh, your bins picked up or yes. you know all those kinds of little things that are in sure. place in the UK. Yeah. Uh, some South Africa's a little bit behind. Wonderful. Was well, there anything else that you would advise people you want to say about London or the UK? It's a nice place to stay for a short period of time, I think. You know, get yourself together, then either go travel somewhere else, or even if you've got enough money, go back to South Africa and live okay. like a king. And why would you go back to South Africa and not move to Australia or somewhere like that? Uh, I don't like Australians. <laughs> I thought I'd never <laughs> hear that from someone else. <laughs> No, I find them an obnoxious you? bunch. <laughs> but no, 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 I've worked with them. and I, No, it's not that. Uh, Australia's a long way. It it's, is it's a long a, it's way. It's a lot no. longer. They're lovely people. Yeah. And they're very friendly and they outgoing. They are, they are. That was, yeah. Sure. But it's a long way. It, it isolates you again, even more so, I think, than South exactly. Africa. Yeah. So. Although I have got friends who moved from South Africa to Australia, oh. which I could visit. Um, but I think that's just one step too far. Okay. For me, anyway, it's just a bit, it's a bit, bit off the beaten track. And what are your aspirations for the future, the short-term future? Where do you see yourself, let's say, in five years' time? Five years' time... I hope to be uh, back in London working full-time. And friends-wise, have you made a lot of friends? Are you, do you socialise with South Africans or socialise with...? Do you know, this will make you laugh. I didn't meet <laughs> another South African for three years, no, having been in the how? UK. When you live out in the suburbs or out in the counties, as they say, sure. it's... Uh, one of those things you just and you, you kind of integrate into English society which I found a lot of South Africans who have been here haven't done no they don't that's they stick, true you know within their own and, why do you, you think know. that is 
I don't know. I don't know. They need to venture outside of that Absolutely. and just actually, you know, understand the English culture. And another difficult thing coming here. Right. The English are renowned for taking the uh, Mickey or the piss, as they say. <laughs> as a South African, it's very difficult to understand that in the beginning. That's true. Yeah. It's it is in jest. Yes. So yes. don't get your boxing gloves on and. Because like, that's, that's a way. This oh yeah, yeah. Way, South Africans deal with it that you. way. They're like, yeah, I've had enough of that. I'm gonna oh, punch you one, you. but. That's really nice. Wonderful. It's been so lovely speaking to you yeah, today. Thank you. Speaking. Thank you very much for taking the time out and, and chatting to us. And all the best in your new job. Yes. Thank you very much. And the future. Cheers.